Pope Clement V declared all Templars as heretics to Christianity. The Templars were cornered, and just when it seemed they were finished forever, a glimmer of hope arose from a seemingly certain end. They were to find a safe haven as well as an ally. But not in France. In fact, in a country in a desperate struggle for independence against the English. The country of Scotland. In 1314, the Templars, allied with Robert the Bruce and his army, took to the fields of Bannockburn. The 25,000-strong English army suffered a humiliating defeat at the hands of only 6,500 men. The Templars had brought themselves back from the brink of destruction and never again would they allow themselves to be destroyed. This time, they would control the country by controlling its king and the name they chose for themselves was a name that would be known by many, but understood by a few. This new name, the Freemasonry.